Hmm. Now here today we would be dealing with the topic of biological classification. Okay. Now see biological classification here. If you focus here, you can see that what is basically classification is. So classification is the process by which anything is grouped into a convenient category based on some easily observable characters. Okay, so this is the basic definition of classification. That means what? You are grouping it. For example, see, you can easily recognize plants or animals, dogs, cats, insects. So, the moment we use any of these terms, we associate a certain character with organizing or grouping them. That means, similarly, suppose we say mammals, you would of course think of animals with external ears and body hair. Likewise, for example, wheat rice, plants, animals, etc. They are convenient categories we use to study organism. Now, the scientific terms for these categories is known as taxa. Okay. Now, you can recognize the taxa can indicate categories of different levels such as plants also from a taxa. Wheat is also a taxa. Similarly, animal, mammal, dogs are also taxa. But, but you know that dog is a mammal and mammals are animals. So therefore, animals, mammals, dogs represent a taxa. Okay. Now see, here, here you can see the word taxonomy. Hence, based on the characteristics of all living organisms, it can be classified into different taxa, that means groups. Now, the process of classification is taxonomy. Now, if you can categorize on the basis of external and internal structure along with the structure of cell and developmental structure. Now, the process. Now, if you can see on your screen, the process of ecological information of organization are essential and from the basis of taxonomical studies. So, taxonomy is not something new. Human beings have always been interested in knowing more and more about the various kind of organism. That means we have been classifying different organisms according to that. Now, you see human beings were since long not interested in knowing more about different kind of organism they diverse they and their diversities but also relationship among them so the branch of study you listen carefully and see what i am saying the branch of study that referred to as systematics the word systematic is derived from the latin word systema which means systematic arrangement of organism lineus use Systema Nature as a title for its publication. Okay. Now, the scope of classification was later en enlarged, including identification. That means first you have to identify, then nomenclature, classification, and systemics takes into account the evolutionary relationship between organism. What is revolutionary relationship? That means which evolved in the first. Now, you see this is taxonomy now what is taxonomy so taxonomy classification you cannot classify into a single step okay now since the category is a part of overall taxonomic arrangement we call it as a taxonomic category because you have to arrange things category wise okay and all categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy what is hierarchy each category refers to as a unit of classification and represents a rank. Hierarchy means rank. You have to uh, organize uh, organism according to their rank. So that is known as the taxon. So taxonomic category and hierarchy can be illustrated for example. For example, uh, organizing common features like three pairs of legs, jointed legs. That means insects are recognizable concrete to that. So you have various categories on which you can uh, see if you can see here you see taxonomical studies here taxonomical studies of all known organism have led to the development of common such categories that is kingdom 
first is broad kingdom we have two broad kingdoms one is the plant and the another then phylum phylum or division for plant then class order family genus and species all these organism include these under the categories now you see if you can now a uh, focus on the hierarchy and it would be coming in front of you just you see now first comes the species now what is species species are group of similar organisms okay group of similar organisms that is capable of interbreeding themselves is known as a species now group of similar species they form the genus and group of similar genus forms the family and from the family group of similar related family comes the comes what you see it's coming in front of you it is order okay now you see order genus families okay then comes the order and after that it comes the class and from the class it comes to be the phylum so phylum is supposed to be the topmost and after that the kingdom okay the more you go higher the you see here if you go from top to bottom it is the kingdom basically the animal kingdom or the living world has been divided into two kingdoms the plant and the animal then it is the phylum the phylum has been subdivided the kingdom has been subdivided then from that it has been divided into class from class it has been divided into order from order it has been divided into family from family to genus and then ultimately the species so if you see the taxonomic hierarchy and you can see that the species is supposed to be the smallest unit okay from group of related species you have the genus group of related genus you have the family and related families you have the order and from there you have the class then you have the phylum and ultimately the kingdom so this was the very basic form of taxonomic classification okay now now if you can see this in front of you it's a very good example of how it is uh, related in a form you see common names man house fly mango wheat okay now the biological name is homo sapien house fly is musa domestica mango mangifera indica and triticum estivum now you see first name is the generic name second is a specific name so the genus is homo musca mangifera and triticum okay then comes the family family hominoid muscadi anacardici poeci order primates diptera spindles poles mammalian insecta dicotyledonous monocotyledonous then you have the phylum chordate arthropoda angiosperm and angiosperm so this is how it is divided okay now why how it can be useful it can be useful also why because this helps to study better now you see here in front of you it is the taxonomical aid now what is a taxonomical aid now you see taxonomic study of various species plants and animals also are helpful in agriculture forestry industry and in general you see uh, plants animals and other plants animals and other organisms organisms are useful in agriculture forestry industry and in general known as bio resources and their diversity so this studies would require correct classification and identification of organism isn't it now 
the now you can already make a collection identification of organism re, uh, requires intensive laboratory and study fees the collection of actual specimen of plants and animals is very very essential for the studies now you see in labs you have uh, preserved specimen of animals isn't it and uh, in your practical classes you would be shown the preserved specimen and how are they classified systematically and here you have herbarium what is herbarium the dried and processed preserves on sheet see this is only done for the plant kingdom various plant structures are taken and they are collected and you see here sheets of paper are there on which the dry uh, plant is kept there closed and kept for a few days when it gets dehydrated it is pasted and can be kept in files like this so these are called herbarium sheets okay so that is how the things are preserved botanical garden botanical garden is a live uh, garden where you can see them their plants are kept in india nearest in calcutta the indian botanical garden it has got a huge collection in lucknow you have and what is museum museum are institutes or places where you have killed uh, and collected killed and specially preserved and stuffed uh, animals there okay now you can see these animal in your lab in your school also zoological park you know what a zoo garden where you can go and see the animals you can see uh, and uh, uh, these animals there okay like that these are zoo zoo gardens okay so this is how um, uh, the chapter is dealt with and in my next uh, chapter we'll be dealing with you see this kind of a classification the biological classification first it was done with aristotle plants and animals plant was divided into three categories the tree shrub and herb an animal was divided into red uh, red blood animal and white blood animal then lineus now this you just have a look and we'll continue in my next year